What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick guide, I'll show you how to open your NAT in Black Ops 6 now that it's fully released. In the description down below, you'll also find optimization guides to get even more performance from this game. For now, let's get into it. Just a quick warning, if you're a streamer, make sure that you don't open the network info tab on stream as it does contain your IP. To check your network status to see what kind of NAT you currently have, click settings in the top right, followed by account and network, then network info right over here. You'll see your NAT type listed right over here. As you can see, mine is open. If yours is limited or closed, then this video will show you how to open it to get a better performance from the game. So the first thing you need to do is close out of your game as you'll need to restart it to see a difference in your NAT type. Then in the description down below, you'll find a link to this page. This page is a text guide on my website of this exact video, and you'll find this block of text over here. We need to allow these specific ports for Call of Duty Black Ops 6 through our firewall as the first step. Lucky for you, there's a script that does exactly that. Click the copy button in the top right or copy all of this text manually and open up an administrative PowerShell window. So hit start, type in PowerShell, right click and choose run as administrator. Now inside of this new window that pops up, just hit control V to paste, enter and enter a few times just to make sure everything's run. That's it. We've now added four different rules to our Windows firewall to allow Black Ops 6 through for a more consistent connection. The next thing is port forwarding. This sounds a lot scarier than it actually is. You'll need to have your admin password for your router in order to direct traffic for these ports directly to your PC. There's also another way of doing it called UPnP. And if your router has an option to enable UPnP, try turning it on, restart your game and see if your NAT type is open. If it's not, and you have your admin password for your router, you'll need to log into it. You'll then see something like this. You'll head across to the security page followed by port forwarding or something similar to that. You should be able to add ports, internal and external, choose a protocol, enter a local IP, and that's it. This is super simple to deal with. First of all, we'll need to know the IP address of our computer on our local network. Hit start, type in CMD or PowerShell and open it up. Then you'll see a window that looks like this. Type in IP config, one word and hit enter. You'll see a bunch of different networks that you're currently connected to. We're looking for the way that we're connected to the internet. In my case, it's ethernet. So I'm looking for ethernet adapter, ethernet. We'll then need to find our IPv4 address, in which case mine is 192.168.150. As we only are required to enter the last digits in mine, I only need to type in 50 here. You may need to type out the entire thing. Then for the external and internal ports, as well as the protocol, we'll need to refer to the text version version of this guide. Scrolling down, port forwarding, you'll see exactly what we talked about, as well as the ports that we need to forward for PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. For PC, whether it's Steam, Activision, or the Xbox app, the ports are the same. We need to do these ones for TCP and these ones for UDP. As there's a crossover between some of these, if you have an option to choose both TCP and UDP in one rule, lucky you, there's less rules that we need to add. So first of all, 3074 and 3075. If you're able to enter a range, that's great. Sometimes you'll need to add a hyphen or you'll have two separate blocks like I do. 3074 and 3075 are what I'll be opening here. Type in the same numbers for external and internal. So 3074 and 3075, yours will look something similar to this and we'll choose both TCP and UDP. I'll add it and there we go. If you can't choose both of them together, you'll need to do it for both TCP and UDP separately. Then we'll do the same for all of the other rules that are here. So 27000 all the way up to 2737, 27037. We can make it simple and just do all of these in one general rule. It should be fine. So 27000 to 27037. We'll do the same numbers here. Choose both TCP and UDP. Type in our IP address once more. Add and there we go we've port forwarded. It's that simple. Yours may be a different combination to what mine is here. It may look different entirely as in a game or application forwarding. But since many years ago, Call of Duty has been mostly the same for how we do this. And the proof is in the pudding. You can see that I had an open NAT type, which means pretty much what I've done here is exactly what I did on my actual router instead of just an example page. And it works. Keep in mind, your router will look somewhat different. You may need to Google a guide for your particular router just to see how to port forward or application forward. And that's it. At this point, restart your game and you should see that you have an open NAT or at least it's improved. Anyways, that's it for this quick guide. Hopefully you found it useful. Again, you'll find and optimization guides down below for better performance from the game. My name is Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.